Hello gorgeous! Here is a quick and easy guide to countryside etiquette, how to be a country house guest, countryside rules, and how to not get invited back. First, how to be a country house guest. Confirm times or arrival and departure in advance and turn up on time. Not late, not early. When invited to someone's home, typically people plan to the last minute. Take a present with you something to drink, flowers, something seasonally gastronomic. If raspberries are in season, for instance, bring that. It doesn't have to be expensive, it doesn't have to be flashy. And if you do bring flowers, make sure it has a vase. If someone is hosting you, you do not want to give them more work. And let your host know of any genuine food intolerances before coming to the countryside. It should be well in advance. Come equipped, bring appropriate shoes. If it looks wet, Bring wellies and waterproofs. Check the weather on your apps in advance or on the internet. Make your own bed and at least attempt to wash up after yourself. You are not in the city anymore. Do not spend hours leaning out windows trying to get a phone signal. Know that you are gonna have some time without a digital device. Personally, on the manor on this house that we're renovating, I would still give my guests that Wi-Fi password because I want them to be comfortable, but don't stream all day sitting in your room. You're there to spend time with the people, with the countryside going outside. Dress according to the grandeur of the house. A country cottage will not require black tie, but a stately home just might. Tell good stories, but do not bang on about yourself and your marvelous city life. Embrace the pets and all the animals. The countryside is all about animals. You've just got to accept it. If bringing your own dog, ask permission first. Know when to leave. As the expression goes, visitors like fish stink in three days. Know the code. Stay for lunch on Sunday means leave soon afterwards. If you're in Britain, you might know this. If you're a gentleman or went to finishing school, if you do not want someone to stay for dinner, ask if they are staying for tea and the guest will be polite enough to leave after tea. Never call anything quaint, backwards, or inefficient. Remember that you are not in the big smoke or big apple. Write a note of thanks within a day. And now here are the countryside rules. These are unwritten codes and laws that you have to follow. Number one, greet strangers. Things are different in the country. Everybody's a bit more familiar. It has a bit of a smaller feel. It could simply be a nod or good morning. You should say good morning if meeting someone first, not hello. Two, stick to designated paths, especially in crop fields. Angry farmers are best avoided. Also, you can really easily get lost and be gone for two weeks. Leave gates as you found them. They will be opened or closed for a reason. Use styles or gates rather than clamoring over walls. Take your litter home with you. If you cannot find a bin, I believe this applies anywhere you are. Wild or farmland and Animals should be not approached even if in distress at which point inform the farmer. Even friendly looking dogs on leads should be given a wide berth unless the owner invites you to pet them. Your dog meanwhile should be kept under control at all times, no climbing or slobbering on people. For those of you who are not in the countryside, you might see dogs without leads or without collars this way that when they're running through the woods, their neck doesn't get caught and they don't get stuck there. A couple of our dogs do not have collars for this reason. You will see cows without a bell, they will simply have a tag on their ear. We have found a couple cow skeletons we just moved on to our manor where cows get stuck because they weigh so much mud below them pugs it takes hours for the cow rescue or animal rescue to come and pull them out so what happens is we find our skeleton years later you might see the situation every now and again in the countryside here is how to not get invited back to the countryside in case you are not a fan rsvp and then arrive late bearing petrol station flowers or better nothing. <laughs> Announce that you are a vegetarian. Time your revelation to coincide with the carving of Sunday lunch or Sunday roast. Complain about the cold. Country house inhabitants pride themselves on hardiness. You, on the other hand, should moan about the lack of central heating. In my home, personally, we're updating it to be a bit more modern. We do have heat and we do have cold, but in older country houses or stately homes, they like to keep it true to how it's supposed to be and enjoy the nature the way it is. It simply depends on where you are visiting. Make loud comments about the one tooth local in the village pub, then order a martini or any type of difficult cocktail. Refuse to walk anywhere, insist on using the car, <laughs> criticize your host's wine, then finish his whiskey. Talk about nothing other than yourself, preferably down on your mobile phone to someone back in town. Hit on your host's wife or if legal, their daughter. And finally, praise the hunting ban. If you have anything to add, let everyone know in the comments below as opposed to saying you already knew this. It helps others and supports your claims. Etiquette is always about including and considering everyone. This simply confirms the information you have is validated and are headed in the right direction. In addition, remember that etiquette is situational and changes with the light due to the time and place. Treat others 
others as they wish to be treated. Give this a like, it's 100% free. Subscribe for more high quality living and elegant style. If you want to stay in touch, there is a newsletter linked below you can sign up to. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later.